<laughs> oh, I can't oh, believe I said God. that. <laughs> but it's true. Oh. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. For those of you guys that didn't know, I bought a new place. Well, I sort of bought a new place. I haven't really told you what's going on. I might as well tell you what's going on. I share my life with you. I put an offer on this place here. It's been accepted. We're just going through settlement. So there's still a chance I might not get it, but I'm going to treat it like I have. And I rented it so I can move in before and try it all out. And that's what's exactly happening right now. I haven't showed you really the property yet because I want to wait until settlement's done and then I'll give you a full, full, a full, a full, a full house tour. But I do want to show you this thing here. It doesn't look like much because the vine's dead and it's having that much love. But this here will go through this little gate of destiny right here. Whoa. This right here is a fully functioning organic garden. Well, it's going to be. It was once and it will be again. A few months of love, I should be able to fully maintain living from the ocean just over there and from my garden and in here I get all the green shit the red shit and all that sort of stuff i have a bit of mint over here which smells absolutely delicious and over here i've got some red shit growing some tomatoes so there are tomatoes there and i just went and bought some lettuce some carrot some capsicum and tomato i'll give you more of a tour in a second but i want to talk about something yesterday afternoon me and strider put the scan we went down in the beach just behind us there and we went and found this sea snake two sea snakes sorry mating i'll roll on the clips but the whole time i was thinking wow i wonder if they're actually stuck together like i wonder if they're stuck together they're either breeding or stuck together i didn't want to interfere because i didn't know enough about it but after watching these clips guys if there's any experts out there can you tell me a little bit more about how sea snakes breed um, were they stuck together? Should I intervene? Should I not? I didn't know what to do. And I was thinking it the whole time I was watching them, but I'll roll on those clips right now. I'm not sure what's going on here, but there's definitely a sea snake involved. Could be two sea snakes mating. Okay. Wow. Two sea snakes mating. Oh my God, I've never seen this before. Hey guys, don't mind me. I don't know about you guys, but when I find something so rare and so unique, I gotta get in there and I wanna share it with you guys. Obviously, if I disturb them in any way, I'll push back and I'll get away from there, but I'm hopping in the water and I'm gonna see if I can get some underwater shots of them actually mating. This is, uh, stay there Strider. Oh, it's, oh, wow. Oh, there we go guys. I'm just slowly swimming up to them. I don't wanna disturb them obviously. And, and I also don't want to get bitten because they can be very moody when they're mating. For me personally, this is absolutely breathtaking because I love sea snakes. I've been hanging out with sea snakes nearly my whole life and I've never ever encountered them breeding before. This is the first time I've ever seen it in the wild, ever. A common fairy tale is that sea snakes can't bite you, but that's bullshit. They can hyperextend their jaw to bite huge prey. So, the idea is not to ever touch them or handle them or anything like that because if you got bitten out here where I am in the middle of nowhere, you would literally die before you had any chance of getting any help. The courtship has blasted for at least 20 minutes. I've been in the water for 20 minutes with these guys, obviously not disturbing them. It must be a lengthy pro progress for them to do what they need to be done, you know? It's really hard for me to dis distinguish which one's the male and which one's the female at the moment because they're so wrapped up together. I can't really see what's going on. I'm cold, man. <laughs> so this particular species of sea snake is called a barbelly sea snake. Once this female becomes pregnant, she will give live birth out at sea, anywhere really, and then straight away she just leaves them for the little babies to defend themselves. I've never personally seen a baby sea snake, so I can't really tell you how big they are, how big they come out or anything like that. I've never personally seen it, but I do know that they give live birth. They don't lay eggs or anything like that. Well, this particular species. These sea snakes are extremely venomous, but a really curious but calming nature. They won't normally attack you. Breeding season's a different story. If they're pregnant, if they're injured, or anything like that, like most things, they will become very grumpy. I've only had three or four times where a sea snake's actually charged at me with intent to bite me out of the hundreds of swims that I've ever had with them. I wanna see what happens after, like the aftermath of everything whether one's trying to kill the other or whether there's going to be scarring or cuts or, you know, I want to see what's it, it well, I want to see that. So that's why I'm sort of waiting around. Hopefully, hopefully this is done before the sun goes down and I can have a look. 
it'll be worth it, you guys. Trust me, I'm not that, I'm not crazy. It'll be worth it. Oh, well, I'm about to punch it. Still, still doing it, man. Still doing the same thing. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I did not have any clue it took, it like lasted this long. They're still right there. Still locked up, still doing it. Oh man, it's so hard to leave, but I gotta go. See you guys. I wonder how long it's gonna take. Oh well, I'm, I'm thankful for spending that long with them and just seeing that. It's another one to tick off the list and have a go at the glass off guys. It's honestly amazing, man. Eww. Righto, we're boosting. I'll see you guys soon. Let's have a look in the chicken coop. It literally is ready to roll. I just need to buy some chickens and I get to name them. I think I will. I don't really know. I haven't thought too much into it. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be going on, but yeah, there's a full chicken coop here. Maybe I can uh, even turn this into like a bird rescue or something like that. Up a I love all of yous. Without you guys, I wouldn't have any of this, but it started to become a big problem at my old place, and it's a little bit of the reason why I moved. A lot of you crew were rocking up to my place. I draw the line there. Please don't show up to my property. Um, if you see me down the shops or out or whatever, feel free to come up. I'd love to meet you guys. I really, really, really appreciate that a lot of this stuff that's happening around me at the moment, everything that's going on is because of you guys supporting me watching me and all that sort of stuff, but I just have to tell you guys to please don't rock up to this place. <laughs> Trespassers will be attacked by a vicious guard dog and Strider Moss. Won't you Strider, you'll get them. Oh yeah. The boys from How Ridiculous is another YouTube channel. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them. They're coming to hang out for a couple of days and we're doing a few episodes on their channel. Brinkley just rocked up to mine and we're going to do a quick check of the ocean before we go for a sand on the ski just to see if it's nice and glassy. We're going to go see if we can find any more sea snakes this afternoon. Your butt around now, point way. We found a stray tin can and a bit of seaweed, and we're just gonna try and get it. Oh, good driving. Keep going, keep going, keep swinging in. Keep swinging in. Ah, yes, I got it. No, yes, I got it. Nice driving. We just dropped in. It's a little bit, a little bit blowy up there, like. As soon as we left the beach and we come here, it seems like a little bit of a breeze glass. It's not dead glass, but it should glass off. And we're just going to go looking for whatever we can find sort of thing. What was that? Well, we found the glass off. How many strides? These guys have been smashing me with comments like, are you and Brinkley dating? Are you married? Are you going to date her? We are just friends. We're like best friends. We've known each other for so long. We like all the same things. She's just pretty much like one of the boys, but with like a good ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't no. believe I said that. <laughs> but it's true. Aww. And that's how it is. So can you just please slow down on blasting mine and her socials with questions about if we're dating or not, we are not dating. All right, Nailed we're gonna, it on the head. Yeah. If you guys want to get any hoodies, they're unisex, youngbloods.co. Check them out. Also got the dad bod cod shirts that just released. Go on and check them out. The dolphins, brother. Oh, there they are. Oh, Whee! Oh, he's doing it at the front. Look. He's coming right up to us. Oh, they're the angry ones. They are the angry ones. <gasps> Hey buddy, what are you doing, you psycho? He's actually, they're so inquisitive that he's come right up to the ski and he's just, he's just licking it to see what it is. 
He swam from 10, 15 meters over that way and come straight up at us. Look at him. It is mating season, but this is definitely not enough sea snake. Just when it comes past, watch your feet. Yeah. Ha. Oh. Hey, buddy. Don't you come at me. That would be weird. Hello. Oh, hey. It's sussing it out so bad. Whoa. Keep swimming, buddy. That's scared. Don't want him to come at me. Woo. That was crazy. And then he's off, just like that. <laughs> it's like a croc swimming like that. Man. During maiden season like this, the sea snakes are so inquisitive. That's when they start wrapping themselves around you, thinking you're another sea snake or whatever. If that ever happens, the best bet is just to let it let it happen, believe it or not, and they'll eventually figure out that you're not a snake to mate with and they'll just go. They'll ha they won't bite you. I hope. Oh, um. Go. Just got back warm. from out in the ski and mum's cooking up the meanest fish curry ever. Got to put some fish in there. This is the last in the nanny guy that I caught with dad the other day. Oh jeez, this is a good fish. Oh. We don't waste a damn thing. Oh my god, that smells so good mum. It's just going to steam in the curry. It's going to steam in the curry? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Whoa. Oh. Mum, you have outdone yourself. It's the best meal ever. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> it's very hot. Mm. Oh, wow. You cook the fish perfect too. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so good. You have to teach me your ways, mum. Yes. You have to I teach will. me your ways. This is better than anything I've ever cooked on any episode. Mmm. 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 That fish is good. Mmm. It's proper hot, but. I'll see you guys in a couple of days.